Hello, lords, ladies, princes, and princesses, and welcome back to my zoo and a new Sims 4 Mods video. Now, I believe it was two weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was about two weeks ago. I did another mod video. I did a video on the Playable Pets mod. So if you are interested in knowing in depth about that mod, I will have the video up in the cards and down in the description. This video is going to be about an add-on for that mod. So it requires the Playable Pets mod to work. So if you aren't familiar with Playable Pets, go watch that video, learn all about it and some of the pros and cons of having it, and then decide if you want this mod or not. So let's talk about Playable Pets real quick. Let's do a, a small little talk about it. So Playable Pets mod is exactly how it sounds. It allows you to play as your pets. And as someone who's trying to run a successful zoo in The Sims 4, being able to control my pets is a godsend. Like, I want to do shows with them. I want them to go through the routine and do shows for our guests. But without this mod, they'll just sleep. <laughs> like, seriously. They prefer to just lay down and lounge on the ground and just look pretty. Now, I know that's what normal tigers do in regular zoos, but um, there are other zoos across the world that train their tigers to do shows, that have them walking out among the guests. That's what I want to do. And without that mod, that's pretty much going to be impossible. <laughs> so the Playable Pets mod had a couple of little issues with it. One of them being that the pie chart interactions with humans had a couple of weird things going on. Some of the interactions between dog and human just said friendly. That's all it said, friendly. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a little bit of a weird thing to get over. It's like, well, at least I know it's friendly. <laughs> at least it's friendly. It's not gonna be a mean interaction or something. The other weird thing was the trait panel. It seemed to mess with that a little bit. There were lots of weird things going on. <laughs> weird empty spaces that just say reward trait. Now we kind of figured out that was where the quirks were, but we couldn't see them. And it was like, well, darn. That would mean some information that a lot of people would like to know. So that's where this new mod comes in. It allows you to see all of these traits and quirks and things that your pets have. Now I'm one of those weird people that wants to know that stuff. The mod comes in two flavors, just hiding all this nonsense or actually being able to see them. So I'm gonna pop the mod in and be right back. So I'm back and I have that mod in my game now and it shows everything and I am so glad. I am so glad to know what my pets like and don't like. So I was planning on building a big pool at the back of my lot here because tigers love to swim. So it would be a good idea to know if any of my tigers didn't like swimming, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to make them miserable. I don't want to put in the water and then five out of six tigers are like, don't like. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want that to happen. I want them to be happy and I don't want to make them miserable. So I want to be, I want to know this information first and foremost, because it's kind of nice to know. There we go. <laughs> Afraid of swimming. Sue me. No, baby. Why are you afraid of swimming? No. You're a tiger. You're not supposed to be afraid of swimming. Tigers love swimming. I really wish there was a little more information about some of these. And we'll see a little bit later that there's some that are a little bit questionable. When we go and we see the cat. I have one cat in my whole zoo and we'll go see them soon. I have six tigers, six fennec foxes, which we will go and see. And um, I have one dog and one cat at the entrance of my zoo. So I think I have my bases covered <laughs> of all the traits we can get a good look at. But it seems some of my tigers have more and some have less. And then there seems some to be some gender specific things like the morning sickness, no morning sickness kind of thing. So it's very interesting to actually see these and know that there are certain things that they, certain quirks and things that they do that make them unique. Poor, poor. Poor Sumi. <laughs> She's never gonna be able to swim. 
So we're gonna go over to the fennec foxes and see if they have anything different. Um, they're just smaller dogs, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not guessing they're gonna be too different. But we'll just pop over and we'll look at them and see if there's anything different about them. Uh, cause I, I wouldn't think so, but maybe they'll have some different traits we can poke at. Jordan, I know we had a fire. You can call, I'm, I'm gonna wipe the buffs. Like, every time I come back here, he's so angry about the fire. Yeah, one of the keepers lit the stove on fire upstairs. Yeah, burnt the dishwasher, sure, burnt the counter, burnt the stove. So, it doesn't seem like there's anything, oh, you like swimming, can I give you, oh, afraid of fire. That's a new one. What I was saying to the to the other one was like, can you give that to Sumi? Because <laughs> you don't need to be able to swim. You live in the desert. Afraid of swimming. Obsessed with fire. Ooh, those are new ones. So we have one afraid of fire, one obsessed with fire. Okay. What else do we got? Let's scroll down and look. Obsessed with fire. Okay, so none of my tigers were obsessed with fire at all. Huh. But I come over to the house that has had a fire and some of the animals are afraid or obsessed with fire. Interesting. I would like more information on quirks. I really would. There's not a lot of information out there. And it sort of seems like the Sims team didn't want people to actually be able to see this information or even know about this information, which is kind of sad. Because like I said, I like treating my animals as good as I treat my my actual sims and if there's something they don't like i'm not gonna force them to deal with it if they don't like the robot vacuum then i won't put one in the house i don't want to spend my money on a robot vacuum that terrorizes my pets if they don't like it so for me this is useful information especially when you're running a zoo and you want to know if you need to destroy half of your exhibit to put in a, a waterfall in a pool for your tigers or not <laughs> which i know some people will have different mileage. So this mod, it comes in two flavors. It comes in hiding the trait panel and not showing all of those empty boxes or allowing you to see. So whatever your play style is, if you want to be oblivious and not know what your pet likes and dislikes, that's fine. You can do it. You can get rid of it if it bothers you. If you want to know, like me, I'm a nosy pants, I want to know, then you can actually see. So I'm so glad that they fixed it because that was one of the things that was kind of frustrating. I'm like, I want to know my quirks. I want to know them. So let's go ahead and hop over to the main gate and uh, with Natalia and see if the cats have any different quirks because I have one cat. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. I promise. I, I need some more big cats in my game or small cats. I need cats in general in my zoo. But let's check out Zippo and Ruby and see if they have anything different. So what do you have? Oh, you're obsessed with fire too, Zippo. Have you had a fire while I've been away in Italia? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm not sure. And it seems like some animals have more than others. Oh, you're obsessed with a fish tank. We gotta have We gotta have an aquarium for you, girl. Stan's watch. Sleeps on back. What does Stan's watch mean? Does that mean she's a guard cat, or does that mean she stands when she watches things? <laughs> I don't know. More information would be great about this stuff. But I'm really happy that someone came along and fixed the quirks, because I really want to know. You know, if you want to hide or reveal them, this is a great mod for that. Because I certainly want to know so that I can make my pet's lives a little better and not waste my money on things that my pets don't like. And this is so hard, I'm so sorry. Like, I built this, <laughs> and the foliage is so pretty, but <laughs> you can't see through it. All right, there, we got it set up. So in summary, great mod. If you want it, you can have it. If you don't, then you don't. You know, that's exactly what I told people who complained about the uh, playable pets mod then don't put it in your game. But for me, this is great because I really wanted to know everything about my pets. I want to know <laughs> if they had favorite colors. I'd love to know their favorite color. I'd love to know their favorite toy. You know, I want to know their quirks. And for me, this is a great mod that tells me what they like, what they dislike. Do my cats obsess about the robot vacuum? That's another toy for them. Does my dog hate it? Well, it's not a toy for him. I don't think we can actually even get a robot vacuum in this tiny, teeny apartment. Yeah, everybody lives the minimalist life here in my zoo. 
<laughs> we actually live above the bathrooms. So it's very interesting. I would be interested in adding more pets and seeing all the different types of traits because um, I would I want to know all of them. I want a list. <laughs> I want a list to know all of them because it seems like the cats have a few that are different and everything seems to be weird because the pets that experience fire are afraid of fire and the pets who didn't don't have that trait so more information would be nice sims team so i'm gonna leave you guys with a nice look at the entrance to our zoo yes it is gaudy and wonderful and a kid magnet basically i built it with kids in mind that you could see it for miles around and kids would love every second of it so thank you guys for watching let me know if you guys want this mod in your game let me know if you download it and what other mods you think the modders should make and i will see you in the next video bye Hey, you made it to the end of the video! Congratulations! Most people don't make it this far. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more, try the suggested videos on screen. I also have a Patreon where $1 a month gets you exclusive content. I have two other channels as well, but they're works in progress right now. Again, thanks for watching. If you watched ads, thanks even more for that. Because of you and my patrons, I can keep doing what I love. Bye for now!